describe Karen's work as visceral, it involves the whole body. With Karen, you cannot just uh, be inside yourself, concentrated in your character. You have to speak many different languages. The language of sculpture, of painting, of music. It's all incorporated. There's really a phrase that for me captures who Karen is and what her work is about, and it's, it's mining the depth of a text. There's a feeling of hearing a text again for the first time. And what Karin does is to bring language to life in ways that make us hear the ideas in ways that we've never heard them before. Not just in, a, in an intellectual sense, but in a very visceral connectedness to the text. Um, it takes your mind seriously, but it also, you feel the depth of it. Um, you feel the depth of those words in, in a deeper place in yourself. I think most important what I see in her work and what attracts me to it and why I enjoy doing uh, it with her is it, it always is about speaking to the human soul. When I think about Karin's work, it's impossible to separate it from the genesis of Columbari. Columbari began in Orvieto, Italy in 2003, where we had the opportunity to create the medieval mystery plays for the 21st century. Orvieto is the city where the feast of Corpus Domini began in the late 1200s. The feast launched the plays. These plays were performed in the streets and in the piazzas, in the public piazzas. And that's what we're reconnecting to. We're reconnecting to uh, this extraordinary spirit to burst through the doors of the institution and go into the public spaces and make the plays for the people, with the people, by the people, and reclaim the streets for humanity. Surgite, surgite, pastores, hoc nuncium lecum audite. Credim quite credem vestrum, vesti in onzite in pete. When we would perform out on the streets and you're gathered around a scene in a piazza, there's an immediacy and a real intimacy to the theatrical experience that I, I found really unparalleled. I've never found anything like it in my experience as a theater goer or as someone who's been involved in making theater. The work that Columbari does is, is it's very human. It's grand, you know, um, very, very larger than life. Uh, very humbling and very passionate. The two or three things I think that distinguishes Columbari from other companies. I'd say number one, I think Columbari is choosing projects that are meaningful, meaningful to advancing culture and, and advancing our understanding of ourselves as human beings. It's again speaking to the human spirit. Number two, it's diverse. It's multi-ethnic, it's multi-racial, it's multi-ages. I mean we have small kids to much older mature actors. What's really distinctive about Columbari to me is the incredible range of individuals we draw into our work. Students, professionals, uh, young, old, different languages, different racial backgrounds, different ethnic backgrounds, different cultural contexts and backgrounds, um, to attempt to bring all these people into one room and to make a piece together is, to me, incredibly unique and incredibly needed. We live in a world that likes its labels a lot. We live in a world that likes to see people separated by our differences rather than brought together. I think that this work is really about bringing people together and really about shared human spirit. Columbari draws heavily from the community because we like to involve as many people as possible wherever we are, whether we're in Harlem, whether it's in Orvieto, whether in the future in Peru. We love involving the people. We love involving the larger community so that it's a huge group of disparate peoples. It's important for us to be local and global and to discover what is it to be a member of this world which is what we address in in all the pieces whether it's the Whitman piece whether it's uh, the medieval mystery play with whether it's the the O'Connor piece um, it always involves the community at large Columbar's work is 
is not dumbed down for anyone, which you find in a lot of populist work, a lot of community-based work. The work is, is presented sort of so that everyone can understand it, instead of asking them to, to, to come to, the, to raise the bar, to, to come to the level of the work, um, uh, asking for a different level of conversation. And that, that's an important part of, I think, Kalambari. Karin's discipline about the text and the treatment of the text is very clear. She has a picture, she has an idea in her mind of what she wants to see, what she wants to hear, and what she wants to sort of feel when she hears those words spoken. It is rigorous, it engages your intellect uh, as well as your emotions. Before I was born, out of my mother, generations guided me. My embryo has never been torment, nothing could overlay it, for it the nebula cohered to and orb. If I had one word to describe Columbari, it would be free. Bold. Joyous. Strabordante. It breaks the uh, banks and he uh, invades the corners, the streets of the city, but also it tried to get into the heart and the culture and the memory of the people in Italy. If I had one word to describe Columbari, it would be fierce. This is fierce work. This is not simple. Um, it's, it's, there's an intensity to it that, that I think is important. What we're doing is mining the mind and the heart and the gut in a kind of visceral moment to bring everything that we do, everything that we think, all our thoughts, all our secrets, um, together in, uh, in a company, together to an audience with attention to a moment in time. I think about Bob Dylan saying that theater is the greatest of all the art forms because it focuses on the eternal now. We have this moment right now this moment right now. We can't go back, we can't go forward, it's right now. And something beautiful about that. She might as well be made to understand what had happened to her. Don't think that was just an uppity Negro woman, he said. That was the whole colored race, which will no longer take your condescending pennies. That was your black double, he said. She can wear the same hat as you. And to be sure, he added gratuitously because he thought it was funny, it looked better on her than it did on you. What all this means, he said, is that the old world is gone. The old man is obsolete and your graciousness is not worth a damn. Columbari capitalizes on what is unique in theater, which is the live event. On this moment, on this moment in time, this place in space, and that the work happening in this place, in this time, is unique. There will never be another moment like this, and if you weren't there, you weren't there. You can see photos, you can see videotapes, but they will not actually give you the experience of being there. And that liveness is, is important to theater. I think it's actually the heart of what theater is, and Columbari capitalizes on that, makes it a point that that's what the thing is. What compels me to make theater in the 21st century is a hunger and an urgency, actually, to make something that is alive, real and fully present because nothing replaces human presence. <laughs>